guys, welcome back to my channel. <clears throat> Sorry, I'm still getting over being sick. The truth is going to come through in this reading. <laughs> this is a galactic collective reading. So if you're a star seed, oh my gosh, stay tuned. If you're a light worker, oh my gosh, stay tuned. Even if you're not, stay tuned because this is over all the collective energies. So let's see, we have truth be told. There's a change, yeah. A change of truth coming in. This could be somebody coming in, sharing their truth or a truth being revealed to you. Um, something like a download or an aha moment or a thought. Something divine from spirit perhaps as well um, that really provides you a lot of wisdom with moving forward. It could have to do with love. It could have to do with you. It could have to do with self-love. It could have to do with your authenticity. I feel like this is a very strong energy as we had the Yang card fly out, which has to do with that masculine energy. This could be a masculine coming to you with an offer or with a healing or with some very wise information for you or the truth. Um, this could be for a new beginning or this could just simply be a very fiery, passionate idea towards something that could help you towards your goals or your mission or your purpose. Oh, thinker, number 44. See how that uh, number resonates for you guys. But master number 44, um, you could Google it, see what message you're drawn to. There's a message there. But I feel like you guys have been thinking so much about something or someone or some situation. Or you guys are just very, you know, in your head or just thinking about a lot of things. You guys are thinkers. I think you've been perhaps doing some research on your own or going through some things that have been really making you think not only about your divine connection to the cosmos but also having to do with your innermost self like your inner inner self right because this owl has the window open to his soul and it's like your your soul is wide open the divine is providing you a gift it's going to make you think a lot, but it's going to help you change some ways about yourself, which is really, really divine and beautiful and important. Let's see what else am I getting here. Almost wanted to come out. Okay, this one. Why? You're asking a lot of why. Like, why is this happening? What is happening? Why do these things get published in books but not revealed to society? Why are things hidden in, in books? Why are things not provided to the public? Um, why am I going through this situation? If you look, we have 31. 3 plus 1 is 4. So we actually have 444 four, four here. So also look into number 444. Four, 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 Google it and see what message you're drawn to. There's a divine angelic angel number message through that. But you're asking a lot of questions. You're thinking a lot. And I think you're like asking why maybe things have happened to you in the past because I do and, and why things are happening now in the future or what's going to happen in the future. Why and why? Why am I drawn to these people? Why am I drawn to these things? Why am I? Why am I a thinker? <laughs> right. You're just kind of going in deep and just revealing all these truths about yourself. And this is divinely guided. Okay. I think you also are being the observer of your thoughts, asking why you're thinking this way. So you're having awareness of the thoughts that you've been thinking, which is a totally different flip from what you've been experiencing pretty much all the way up till now. You're becoming the observer. You're really asking, okay, why do I feel this way about this thought? Or why is this thought coming in my head? And is this thought even my own? Why um, do I feel this way? Why am I experiencing this this emotion or this feeling or this thought. Yeah, you're really digging in deep and asking the right questions, though. And there's going to be some knowledge and a gift of truth that's delivered from you doing this. This is faded, yeah. This is faded within the stars. This is aligned to your divine connection, to the stars, to the divine. And it's infinite, right? So there's an infinite amount of timelines. There's an infinite amount of possibilities. But it's asking you to really dig into your authentic truth and start asking the questions, start thinking about, um, start observing your thoughts, right? And asking why. Like, why am I thinking this? What's the point? Co-creation, yeah. So I feel like once you get an alignment here, which I feel you'll be doing because you're getting this gift provided by the divine to figure out all your whys and thoughts, that's when it's the time to co-create, babe. 
that's when it's the time to co-create because that's when this gift, this gift of co-creation, there's going to be some opportunities coming in where you can collaborate. If you guys bear with me on my channel because I'm still recovering from being sick, it's going to take me some time to like feel completely better because this thing was terrible and I'm still recovering from it. I'm still not 100% better. But I have a lot of collaborations in the works with a lot of amazing people. And it's, it is quite overwhelming. Like I feel a little bit overwhelmed right now because I know I have all these collaborations that I want to, you know, definitely do. And, um, but I have to get in alignment myself. I have to get feeling better. I have to heal. So, but I see so much being co-created here. It's uncanny. And for you, for you, not just me, for you. And it's this fiery energy, this passionate energy, right? This fiery co-creation energy, this energy work, right? It's, it's, it's amazing what you guys are going to be co-creating here. This could also be a relationship, but I feel like it's more like it could be. Okay, it could be. You could be co-creating a whole new life here for yourself, yourselves. We have co-create and a new life, but you're thinking about this new life and how you want to co-create it. You're thinking, why why haven't things worked out for me in the past? Or why, why am I feeling this way? Instead of being like, why am I feeling this way? It's like, why do I think these thoughts and are these thoughts my own or are these like subliminal thoughts and what can I do to correct them? Because once you figure out the why, it leads you to serendipity, which is bliss, which is heaven, which is that ultimate fulfillment in life that we all want. And within the serendipity connection, you're going to be exchanging gifts with people, places, things. It's this beautiful co-creation energy. This is collective. So this is what a lot of you are experiencing right now. This is all being done and managed by the divine to help you into this life where you're exchanging your gifts with the world, where you're being this beacon of light to the world, where you're really fulfilled within this life that you are co-creating for yourself. And it's faded, right? It's a divine faded co-creation and life that has always been this way but you're becoming more observant of it and you're seeing ways that you can change some things up to really dig to your inner truth and let that authenticity be shown to the whole entire world. And this leads into this co-creative new life of serendipity and being able to really exchange so many more gifts than you even thought you had now. So much more is going to be revealed to you guys. I feel like a lot of you are star seeds, you know. I mean, if you're on my channel, you're probably a star seed. <laughs> you are a star seed. You have to be. If you're on my channel, you're a star seed. If you're on my channel, you're drawn to my energy, you're a star seed. I'm a galactic activation portal. I am here to connect star seeds to their galactic origins. Done hundreds of readings. They're amazing. They're really life changing. And they're very um, reassuring when it comes to your purpose and why it is the way you are. Um, your origins really help open up a lot of things. It's a never-ending story of peace coming in. Beautiful. So like you're learning how to co-create things in a much more relaxed, peaceful, blissful manner. Once you figure out your why. Once you get um, in touch with your thoughts and your inner truth. There's this never-ending story that you think is never going to end, but it's a completion. And you're now you're moving into peace. You're moving into serendipity. You're learning how to manage your gifts, exchange your gifts, be provided the abundance that you need for your gifts. It's a beautiful exchange of energies. And there's this change of peace coming in. So do you see this? Ten and five. Ten being completion, five being the change coming in. And nine. Nine being that lead up to the ten of completion so it's like once you find out your gifts and the magic that you are and you just pop out of your your little shell and you're like i'm here world there it goes away this never-ending story and comes the peace of co-creation and all things in your life and that new life coming in yeah a change in the wind a change in the wind 
we're moving out of this like really masculine energy and we're moving more into the flow of the feminine divine feminine energy and it's definitely a change in the wind i heard i heard um that song by Lana Del Rey. <clears throat> I can't even sing right now. My voice is crap, but it's that. There's something in the wind. I can feel it coming. That song. And I can't sing right now because my voice is kind of gone because I've had COVID. But um, I could sing it better. But there is a change coming in. And you could feel it coming. And it's this divine flow, this divine peace. It's... It's not me just saying that. It's like this is literally your shuffle. You're moving out of this controlling masculine energy more into the divine abundant flow that's always meant to be. It's serendipitous and it's combining the both souls that you are. You're learning both of your halves into one. Um, you're exchanging gifts. It's a beautiful change of peace. Any other final messages? Yeah, it's a deep knowing, number seven. It's a deep, it's a divine number seven, and it's a deep knowing that you're going into where you just you really understand yourself on such a deep level, and it's a deep knowing of this change coming into. So these are the energies right now. If you want me to go more in depth with these specific energies, I'm going to have a link provided down below for an extended reading for this reading in particular. If you wanted to go in deeper and dig in more with what else is coming through for the collective and messages that you're needing to hear, it'll be provided in the description box below. So definitely check that out. Thank you so much for all the new subscribers, all the likes, comments, shares. I appreciate it so incredibly much. Thank you for all of you tuning in at this time and just know that all will be well. I will see you in the next reading. All right. Bye guys.